Our next guests are sisters that grew up in the entertainment industry acting, producing, and singing. Well, now they're co-starring together in the Lifetime original movie, Death Saved My Life. Please welcome my girls, Megan and Lamaya Good. Hey, ladies. <laughs> Hi, guys. It's so good. good. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Where are you guys joining us from? Are you both in I'm um, actually in New York right now with all the wonderful snow. And Lamaya is on the West Coast. Well, nice. Nice. The sun is shining. On the West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies, we're so happy that you guys could join us. Um, now, you guys are only a few years apart, but I want to know which sister gives the best advice. Lamaya, I want to go with you first. Oh, okay. This is a little tricky now because we are so close in age. But I have to say that Megan sometimes feels like the older sister with her advice. Really? She gives really, really, really good advice. Like, um, she's so insightful and she always just, gives me the right thing to do because sometimes I have a little tendency on the other side. Um, but speaking <laughs> of good advice, it was interesting because working on this film with her, I really wanted to go into this because it's like, you know, coming back. It's been a while for me. I really wanted to come into this like, um, like I haven't done any work before. So I was like being the mm. student, letting her be the teacher. And that for me was a little difficult at first because I'm like, I know that I've been doing acting, you know, so long. But I really sat back because I wanted to grow and evolve. And she totally, totally gave me the best advice. She's so brilliant to watch. Like, I love, I just enjoy seeing her work and seeing her process. And I know she's done, done the work. She deserves to be where she's at. So when I'm looking, I'm like, okay, she's not a little sister right now. It's kind of like a mentor, <laughs> you know, so it was, it, was, it was dope. So depending on the story, I did yeah. too. <laughs> Megan, what about you? Does Lamaya give you any advice? Um, well, I'm I'm a little sister through and through, without a doubt. Um, it's interesting because she, to me, gives the best advice because she she's been there for everything. She's seen everything. When I come to her, she's literally the one who has picked me up off the ground where when I was like, I actually don't know what's going on in my life right now. And I don't know how I'm going to move forward. She's talked me off the ledges. She's stopped me from jumping. Um, and then in the same breath, you know, as a little sister, I'm definitely like, girl, what you wearing? Where you, where you get them shoes from? All those things a lot. Oh, oh, okay. Can, can you send me the link? Okay, cool. You know, I literally, a lot of our styles are very much the same. Like we're yin and yang and we're like the same person, but we like, express it different ways so yeah i'd be in her closet even still the sister love, love man it's addicting that's why we love you guys together and on instagram you both co-host cousins talk with your cousin dijon lamaya how did you guys come up with that idea you know megan and i used to love teen summit like i don't know if you guys remember yes of course yeah, exactly. So yeah, I just loved how we loved how raw it was and how you can come on there and really speak what's going on, like in the community with young people. Yeah. And we're like, how dope would it be since we always have like these family dinners and these family combos where we discuss everything, everything that's happening in the community, everything that's happening with us. And, you know, we were like we get so much advice and we find so much like solace and just sharing and hearing and learning that we're like, why don't we do this for young people now while they're still, while we're still young enough for them to listen, but while we have some wisdom <laughs> and experience behind us. So that's how we kind of came up with it. We like, why don't we invite them in family style and let's talk about it. Perfect. Smart. You so know, great. we love that seeing this close bond that you ladies share. Now, Megan, did you always want to work together professionally? Oh, yeah. I mean, we started in the business when we were four and six years old. And, you know, I went the acting route at a certain point. Lamaya went and traveled the world with her singing group. And we knew that when we got to a certain age, we we're like, OK, we definitely want to do more stuff together. But when we were kids, you know, Lamaya and I, we'd wear the same outfits and we'd be in the car. People would be like, oh, what cute kids. And I'd be like, you know, sitting up higher because Lamaya was a little taller than me. So she'd sit down a little lower. And we'd be like, yeah, we're twins, you know. <laughs> um, and it's, it's interesting because now that we're older, our bond is even crazier like I jump in front of a bus for her and, and now we're getting to do the show together we're producing together you know so it's, awesome. it's been pretty it's pretty epic and amazing 
That's really awesome. But your characters are all in the Lifetime movie, Death Saved My Life, are actually sisters. So Megan, can you tell us a little bit more about the movie? Yeah, uh, so it is a film, the characters are fict fictional, but it's based on true events, um, something that actually happened. And so um, it's about this woman who uh, ultimately is in an abusive relationship with her husband and she has a daughter and she's trying to get out of the relationship. And when she finally gets the courage to do it, um, her husband tries to have her killed. And ultimately she ends up faking her death. And the really interesting thing is like, you know, the dynamic between the husband, but my character is dealing with depression. And with Lamaya's character, you know, we're a part of this kind of plan that we're devising together, in essence, to um, try to save my life. But her character is dealing with bipolar. So um, it, it was really interesting film where we got to really explore a lot of different things that people don't talk about, um, especially in the black community with, with you know, uh, uh, domestic violence, with bipolar, with depression. And, and these are all things that we need to talk about more. Absolutely. Great. Well, Great. we have got a clip, and I am so excited to check it out. Death saved my life. I think he's trying to kill me. What? No, if that's the case, you have no choice but to go to the police. His best friend is the police sergeant. And I know Ed. He'll turn it around. He'll make me seem like I'm the crazy one. She's the one who had the nervous breakdown. Another one he had to save. The only way anyone would believe it is if it came from his own mouth. Then what are you gonna do? I don't know. Ooh, I can't wait wow. to see this. This is so good. I'm like this right now watching it. Megan, Lamaya, <laughs> thank you guys so much for stopping by and hanging out with us today. You all have to go check out Death Saved My Life. It premieres on Lifetime on February 13th, so be sure to check it out.